In today's video, I'm going to teach you how easy it is to insert and edit tables in Microsoft Word. We're in a Word document here, and the first thing you want to do is select on the insert option in the ribbon, and then underneath that, you have the option of table. If we drop this guy down, you see there are a lot of different table options. The one I use the most often is just adding these grids in and quickly building out the table to whatever size of rows and columns that I'm after. I'm going to select a three by four and simply drop that in. If you wanted to get fancier with it though, you can select on that insert option, drop that table down again, and you could choose the option of insert table. And this is going to open up a dialog box where you can add as many columns and rows as you're after. Could be a 10 by 10. You can also choose the auto fit behavior, but I would recommend keeping this on auto for most people. And if we select on OK, that's going to drop in a massive table. I'm going to quickly go ahead and delete that one though, because that's too big for this tutorial. Select an insert one more time. And there's a few other things we can do like draw a table. We could add an Excel spreadsheet or even use the quick tables, which are some built-in ones by Microsoft Word. As an example, let's drop in a tabular list that makes it really easy for you to get started. Let's go ahead and delete that though, because I want to work with the table that we just created. What you can see as soon as we select on our table, we have two more tabs up the top that, that are called table design and table layout, which we're going to go through in a minute. If you want to quickly edit the style of your table, make it a bit more attractive, you can drop down the table styles here. And there's a lot of pre-built ones by Microsoft Word. I usually stick with a nice blue grid table, but you can see here you've got so many different colors of plane, of grid, of lists, um, and you can even go ahead and create and modify your own table style. But I usually stick with a nice plain blue table like the one we've just put in now. Let's actually change that so we have a bit more gradient to it. What I'd recommend from here is you might want to customize the borders of your table. What you can see is that at the top here, that is actually a table, but we can't see any of the borders. If you wanted to change the borders of the entire table, you'd want to highlight the entire table. And then over here on the right hand side of table design, you can choose to add things like the bottom border, the top border, you could go all borders. And this is going to make the table a bit easier for people to read. I'm going to control Z and undo that though, because maybe I just want to put the borders around this first row. Well, I'm going to highlight those first three tables or first three cells. And then from here, I'm going to drop down the borders and maybe I'm going to add the left border. I'll add the right border and I'll add the top border so I can build this out. A very cool thing you can do as well is customize and change your border styles. By default, it's set to um, half a point and black, but we can maybe go ahead and make this a bit of a thicker border. Maybe we want to have it one and a half points and we want to have it in a different color. Let's go for a nice orange instead. So we can go ahead and customize or highlight this. And instead of having just the plain black border, we can maybe add a border down the bottom to really show that there is a difference between the top and the bottom. I'd recommend playing around with what works best for you, but this is a great way to really customize your table. And if you wanted to add some shading or colors to it, you can highlight those cells again, drop down this shading option, and then maybe choose something like a gray or a pastel. So it's easy to know that this is the top of your table. Now let's go ahead and jump into the table layout section. because there's a few things I want to call out as well as a few shortcuts. One of the most common questions is how do you insert or delete a row or a column? And there's two different ways you can do this. We can select anywhere on a table and in the table layout option, we can choose to insert a row above or a row below, or you could add a column to the left or a column to the right. So you got all these options right here. If you wanted to delete them, very similarly, we can just choose the delete dropdown and we could choose to delete a column or we could choose to delete a row. And this will delete wherever your mouse is selected. I'm gonna undo these for a second because what you see here is my mouse was automatically highlighting all three but maybe I want to delete this uh, row here. I'll highlight it, delete, and then I'll select delete on that row. And maybe I want to delete this column here. I'll select on that column, go delete and delete column, and it will get rid of that one there. 
A faster way to do this though is highlighting or selecting where you want to delete, right clicking, and then in this dialog box, you have the option of inserting or you have the option of deleting. Let's go ahead and make this a bit more of a manageable table. So I'm going to highlight the last three columns, right click, delete, and then I'm going to delete those columns and that's going to shrink our table back down. Now you can see the table's gotten quite small. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab the, co the corner of that table and drag it out to the size, make it a bit bigger. So the size that I want it to be. And then if I ever wanted to move the table around in the top left hand corner, you have the four arrows and you can move this to where you want it to be on the tape on the page. So you can really just customize the look and the feel of that table. Now I'm just going to quickly add in a few titles and you can see here I've added in a request for the name, date and address. But it looks sort of funny because we have these blank columns in the middle. What I want to do is actually merge the name so it gives them more space. So I'm going to select on the name option along with the column next to it. Under the table layout, I uh, under the table layout tab, I'm going to choose the option of merge cells. And this is going to put the name across one big table so they can add their first and their last name here. The date, I think they can just quickly add in what the date is. And then again, for the address, I'm going to highlight these two here and then hit on the merge cells option. And this is going to give them more space. But then, of course, underneath, they could add things like their street and their postcode. So super easy. But it still looks a bit funny to me. And that's because the name, date, and address are aligned to the left. I'm going to highlight all of these here. And again, under the table layout, under the table layout, on the right hand side, there is the alignment of text. I'm simply going to use the align top center. And that's going to put these at the top center of their cells. And they're the basics of getting started with inserting and adjusting tables in Microsoft Word. What I'd recommend is going and having a play around with the different table styles, as well as adding different borders and shading. And in the table layout section, adding and deleting columns using the quick shortcuts like right clicking and using the insert and the delete option here and playing around with things like the alignment of your text as well.